Hi guys and welcome to Farming Simulator 2015 with me, T Belly. I'm just going to do another cosplay uh, tutorial. This one's going to be uh, selling your fruit from the silo. Uh, so let's create a route on there. What we do first. It's just up to it. So it goes on that. Right click. And on this one, we want to do the first one, which is grain transport load start. So what we'll do is we'll do R for the first one. We'll do wheat. We'll just get whatever's in there, and then we'll just do start recording and drive what I'm gonna do is on this one I'm just gonna drive it up to the I think, granary at the top you can do this with any tractor or uh, you, don't, you don't have to be a wagon like this it's just what I use So you just drive up and just follow the path. And slowly turn into here. You don't have to unload, but I'm just going to do it anyway because I'm here. And then we go back down. And if you make it in a, into a, a good circuit, you need to. You don't want to be banging into other things. What you do then is I just stop. Out there, and then I click on the stop recording. Just so you know, uh, it's your right click to uh, get your course play up. Like that. And what I'm going to do, I'm just going to show you all the waypoints, just so that we've we can see them all. You can see the full path that you're going. And what we'll do is we will save that as silo tutorial save so in there it should be somewhere down there silo tutorial so it's saved there so what you would do now is if you want to what I do is I would check what I've got so I've got 23,000 barley so what you do is change that to barley Make sure you change this first before you do it, and then simple as drive course. What it'll do there is it'll it'll go up and it'll fill up, and because it's not full, it'll send you a message saying it's not full, and it'll just wait there, and it'll wait there for you to click to continue to drive on the route. I'll show you as it does it. If it was actually full, if I had like 200,000 in there, it'd fill up, it'd just follow the route and it'd come back down and it'd just keep on doing it until it had emptied all the uh, the fruit that I'd selected. As you can see there, farm, si uh, farm silo is empty, uh, so you just click drive now, because it's partial, it doesn't matter. 
and then it'll just follow the route. I mean, you don't have to have the waypoints on, I normally switch them off, I just like to see, check the route, set the route out safe. Uh, you know, be careful around some of the corners because they're a bit sharp and bendy, that's why it's always good to find them. That's got a lean on. So, make sure it's all, all good, there's nothing coming in its way, so. Especially when you're going through tight openings and stuff like that, and trees and fences and stuff seem to love getting in the way for some strange reason. So, fingers crossed. Show automatic unload, which is good. What we want? Show me the money. And what it should do now is when it goes down, it should just pull up. It should go underneath it, and it should just wait there and say it's empty. And. Uh, Basically what I'll do then is I'll just stop the driver and I normally just park it up and leave it until it's until I'm, I need it again. Just to remember though, it's, it's really important to set your fruit before you actually go. Uh, otherwise it'll, if you press R to unload, it'll just set off as it's, as it's loading. Uh, so always select the fruit before you go. Key tip. There we go. Now, if I've had that press stop at last point or next trigger, it would have stopped there. If I've had that activated, it would have stopped there and just waited for me. Like I say, I'll just show you what it does. If you are away, you're not even going to know. The good thing about it is it, it tells you in here, tells you that above here, which is ideal. There you go. So you just all I do now is just go stop drive, and just switch it off, and I'll just drive it back. And park it up. Well, I hope that's been helpful to you. If uh, you've got any questions or any comments, by all means, leave them below and I'll uh, try and answer them. Uh, and thank you for watching. See you later.